Let's talk about big O, computational complexity. In this paper, the authors are trying to route supplies from a bunch of warehouses to a disaster area. Their goal is to minimize the maximum worst case delivery time. But since there's been a natural disaster, all the numbers they'd normally plug into their solvers for travel time, fuel cost, etc., are fuzzy, not crisp. So let's say in this scenario, K is the number of time freeze points, M is the number of supply sources, and N is the number of demand destinations. For this particular kind of problem, the simplex method would run in a big O of N cubed. Branch and bound would run in two to the N. The author's new method runs in big O KMN times log MN. This is fantastic. In simple terms, it means that the algorithm's runtime only grows in proportion to the number of freeze points, sources, and destinations, with just a mild logarithmic overhead. It doesn't balloon exponentially as the number of destinations increases like the other two options. Instead, since k is typically small, equal to the number of distinct time breakpoints extracted from the fuzzy time values, the author's new method scales well, even for large transportation networks. On today's episode of Journal Club, we're going to break down how their solution works, how its congruence modulo method provides computational efficiency, and how its time freezing techniques give the user a systematic way to explore the cost time trade off space. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting the full episode in text and audio form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.